I'm Dr. Richard Tinlin, hydrologist, geologist, pecan grower, and inventor. Uh, this is one, one of my inventions. Uh, uh, this is uh, a device that many of you have seen that are in the nut business. It's a very economical type of uh, device to pick up pecans off the ground or other nuts. It has uh, major limitations in, in its capacity and, and the adjustability to uh, different size nuts. It will pick up nuts, but you can see it has some limitations. As an inventor, I decided to come up with something better. This is uh, uh, my version uh, to cover some of the limitations of the uh, prior art. I call it a nut harvester because it is versatile not only to pick up pecans, but many other objects. It, uh, the adjustability is very important and that's one of the major features that the patent office liked. As you can see, I can readily adjust it to different size objects. This is the uh, one of my uh, this is my more or less deluxe version. You can see it's I can readily adjust the size. It is uh, quite versatile in being able to pick up the cons. You can see I can pick up a number of pecans. It has a large storage capacity and when I fill up the coil in the spring, I can go over to the drop container and dump the nuts just like that, very quickly. It also has canisters for storage. As you'll see that I can, I will adjust it for a larger size object, such as a large nut. The, as you can see, these are uh, probably number 16 nuts, meaning they have about an inch in diameter. And the other advantage is, when I'm out ranging around the orchard, instead of having to dump every minute or two, I can put the nuts in the state storage container. Then I have a gate that I close. And as you can see, then I can go on about and pick up more pecans. At that point, then I can discharge the pecans. Or in the case that I want to uh, pick up some large object, I'll use a golf ball for example. You can see how quickly it, and easily it picks up golf balls or any other object of that size. And these can easily be discharged as well. So that, in a nutshell, is a description of this device. This uh, small old, small device is somewhere around $15. This one is going to be in the market for somewhere around $30, and that one somewhere around $60. I'm looking for a good manufacturer, so if you uh, think you can make these cheaper than in China, let me know.